Hello, everyone. I'm Sheriff Wayne Ivey, and you're on scene with the Brevard County Sheriff's Office. Like each of you, I am sickened and deeply concerned about the cowardly attacks that are taking place around the world. Attacks where defenseless citizens are being murdered and critically injured. Terrorists and active shooters are using every weapon available to target citizens. Guns, knives, trucks, hammers, and even explosives have all become the weapon of choice for murderers who only have one goal, killing innocent and law-abiding citizens. It seems that almost every day we hear of another attack taking place at a concert, tourist destination, church, business, or anywhere else in the world where they can strike fear in the hearts of citizens. Folks, now more than ever is the time for our citizens to be prepared to serve as the first line of defense, not only for them, but for their families when the attack happens. And let me be perfectly clear, doing nothing or just hoping it won't happen to you is not going to save your life. For those who think that it can't or won't happen here, trust me when I tell you that it's already happening all around us. And the only thing left to question is when and where it will happen again and how many more innocent lives will be lost. As everyone knows, I am probably one of the most politically incorrect sheriffs in the country. And to be honest, I'm good with that. What I'm not good with is sitting back, waiting on the emergency to happen, or even worse, sitting back and saying, it won't happen here or it won't happen to me. Preparing Americans to protect themselves is a conversation we need to have right now. And giving our citizens the ability to survive a violent attack is not only politically correct, it's the absolute best way we can help protect those we took an oath to protect. Yesterday, I saw a news story where in other parts of the world, they are telling citizens that they are attacked to run, hide, and tell. Really? Coaching citizens that the best way to save their life and the life of a family member, coworker, or friend is to run, hide, and tell? What's next? Ask you to run, hide, and then draw a line in the sand while daring the cold-blooded murderer to cross it? Not here. In my book, What's Next is to fully understand that this is war and you better be prepared to wage war to protect you, your family, and those around you if attacked. I am firmly convinced that as Americans, we can no longer sit back and pray the fight isn't brought to us. Instead, we have to stand together, shoulder to shoulder, prepared and ready to issue an immediate and directed response when the attack happens. Terrorists and active shooters know that our citizens have been coached to run and hide and then patiently await help. In fact, they count on it so they can strategically target as many citizens as possible. What they don't count on is being attacked themselves having to become defensive to save their own lives. No matter who you are or what your position is on guns, there is no denying the fact that the only thing that stops a bad guy with a gun or a knife is an armed and well-prepared citizen or law enforcement officer. There is no doubt that as soon as 911 is called, law enforcement is on the way. However, until they arrive, it's up to you and those with you to neutralize or eliminate the threat. You have to make a decision right now, right this moment to be prepared to save your life and those you love when the attack happens. Sun Tzu says in The Art of War that every battle is won or lost before it's ever fought. As a society and a community, we can no longer afford to wait for the attack to happen and then develop our survival strategy. We have to fight this battle on the front end by preparing ourselves to fully respond against the attackers when the time comes. As Sheriff, I encourage you to be prepared to protect yourself and develop your survival strategy right now. If you have a concealed carry permit, then carry your gun with you at all times possible. It's not doing you any good at the house or in the car when the attack happens. Remember, if you've chosen a gun to protect yourself in the event of a violent attack, then you need to practice on a regular basis. I invite you to take our class, Self-Defense Through Tactical Shooting and Decision Making, where you will receive expert training from our Brevard County Sheriff's Office firearms instructors who teach our deputies how to be tactically prepared for any type of attack. If you don't have a concealed carry permit or not someone who is comfortable using a firearm to protect yourself, then please consider some type of intermediate weapon, such as a taser or what we now call environmental arming, using items in your immediate surrounding area as weapons, items such as a knife, chair, or a fire extinguisher. I would also encourage you to visit our website and watch the four A's of survival. This seven minute video discusses the importance of awareness, essentially knowing your surroundings and having a strategy for survival, arming yourself with anything you can use to protect yourself, avoidance, running to escape the danger, and attacking the perpetrator to neutralize or eliminate the threat. It's very important to remember that while the terrorist or violent attacker may have a weapon or even the element of surprise, a team of citizens working together to attack the suspect has a much greater chance of survival than allowing the suspect to operate unimpeded. There is no doubt that it takes great courage to attack someone who is trying to kill you or your family, but unfortunately, it may be the only thing that saves your life and the life of those you dearly love. I ask you to remember this if you ever find yourself in the middle of a violent attack. Since the terrorist attacks that occurred on 9-11, we all remember the videos of the Twin Towers and Pentagon where thousands were killed. 
Out of all the attacks that day, only one failed. The plane that was hijacked by terrorists and then was taken back by brave Americans who worked together as a team to keep the terrorists from reaching their targeted destination. While we will never know how many lives they saved that day, one thing is perfectly clear. Their heroic actions saved countless lives and showed terrorists what happens when Americans fight back. Remember, it takes a community to protect a community. And right now is the time to prepare for the emergency so we can do everything possible to protect ourselves and those around us should that time ever come. Best case scenario, you are mentally and physically prepared and that day never happens. For more information on our self-defense through tactical shooting class and to watch the four A's of survival, please visit our website at brevardsheriff.com.